an 8F drafter. Okay. So we've got some funny we've got some funny shenanigans going on with the spawn sets at the moment because I don't think this is a normal natural spawn. But you know what? I'll take it's a sports car. I'll take it. It's an 8F. So uh, presumably that's an, meant to be an Audi R8, I guess. Or S8, more like. Uh, S, sorry, not an R8, because the 9F is the R8. Maybe it's a um, um, S8. 8S? S8? Is that such a thing as an Audi S8? I don't know my Audis very well. I know there's the the A4 is the uh, is sort of the, the mid-size um, saloon type car. And then there's the S4, which is the hot version of it. It's not a real, it's not one of the real world cars anyway. So I, uh, so this is not one of the real world cars. Well, we shall see. Oh, okay. We've got all the weird spawns as well. I, I, I missed him saying that. Maybe it was while I was away. Maybe that's why Al was seeing quite so many limos. And then why I'm seeing all of those Hummer limos knocking around. Right. So, yes. Welcome to Lawrence Plays. Uh, this is Manhunt Checkpoint. I am driving around the city trying to find checkpoints. And there is one at Castaway and Abe Milton Parkway in Burton. I don't really know where that is but I've got a blip on the map so that'll help me find it. Uh, if I manage to take all five checkpoints then I win the game. There are some hunters drifting around the city as well though. If they manage to find me and uh, shoot me then they win the game or if they kill me in any, any way shape or form. So if they manage to run me over or uh, knock me off a cliff or you know just about anything then, then uh, they will win the game. They are all going to be driving around in very brightly coloured police cars because we're doing a police car run for the hunters this time because that seemed like an interesting idea. Um, and so it should make them really, really obvious, and they will all put their sirens on when they get when they get suspicious. So, in theory, I'll know when they've uh, when they've spotted me. What is that ahead of me? Is it, that's a tornado, isn't it? And it's really, really it's probably going to get in the way. But never mind. At least it'll stop me driving too quickly. I honestly have no idea where Burton is in Los Santos, so we shall be just driving towards the blip until I until I manage to find it. Um, I suppose since we're stopped at a red light, I could pull up the map. And go, oh, it's okay. Oh, it's over there. Okay, that's not so bad. It's not too far. Right, so I'll head down this way, get onto the uh, main road down. Actually, no, I'll cross over the main road by the low car parks there, and then go on the next road over. Because as I was, as I've said many times before, I have a theory that if you're on smaller roads, you're less likely to be spotted by the hunters. Now they know I've got this theory because I've said it in videos before, and so they'll have seen that and they'll they'll know all about it. However, I still think it's probably going to be true, just down to sort of basic psychology. So there's one of the police cars. You can tell because it's a weird colour. Um, it's got a hunter in it. Uh, that was one of the fairly dark ones. So that might have been Pete. I couldn't really tell. But I think Pete is the only one with a really, really dark um, uh, car colour in this game. Because the hunters will... Not only are they driving police cars. They are driving police cars in their hunter colours. Which makes them a bit more obvious. At least that's the intent and that's the hope. Interesting. I can hear sirens. Now, they're supposed to put the sirens on when they get suspicious. But... I suppose we did. We, we said you, you should put your siren on when you're suspicious. We didn't say you, you can't put it on if you're not suspicious. So I'm going to run this red light. Um, and then it immediately turns green, of course. Uh, so yeah, maybe, maybe they're just playing around with Or maybe, maybe they spotted an AI car that they, they were suspicious of for reasons. Um, and that does happen. Uh, you might not realise it from having seen only seen my point of view of the videos, but uh, the hunters do actually check out quite a lot of cars that aren't me before they manage to find the one that is me. So it may look like they all just converge on me and then they go, aha, here he is, and, che and, uh, and check me and ram me off the road. But actually, they do look at quite a lot of other cars as well. So um, you, you, you just generally don't, you don't see that very often unless they do it right in front of me. Um... I didn't really want to turn right here, but I guess I'm going to. Because the lane I was in, basically. Uh, but that's alright, we can then come along here and turn left. And again, I'm following a slightly odd route around the city. And I think, as I said, I think that's better for my survival chances. Because it makes me a bit less obvious, a bit harder for them to find. Uh, go slightly faster than that, please. Okay, okay, so there's some red lights here, we'll have to stop at these. Now... How close am I to the... Okay, so if I go this way, I go to... F Actually, let's go straight on. I don't want to go through five ways if I can avoid it, because it's such a big junction. So yeah, we'll carry on. Go straight on, then turn then turn right down that road dead ahead over there, and follow that one up, and then turn right at the end to go down and grab the checkpoint. I think that's probably... Ooh, or maybe take the right before that. I don't know. There goes Mike. Bimble, bimble, bimble. And there's another Humvee limo, and another one. I just need a white one now to complete the, um, complete the flag. <laughs> oh dear so many um, ludicrous vehicles driving around now maybe a Humvee limo would be quite a good one to take because it's probably going to be fairly hard to push around but it's probably going to also drive like an absolute pig so I don't think I will be using one of those unless I have absolutely no other choice 
<laughs> the game does get a bit silly when you start to allow, well, silly cars to start spawning. Uh, but, you know, I'm kind of okay with that. Silly is, I think the whole game mode is fairly silly, so we might as well lean into it a bit. Here's the police station. This would be where you'd expect to find lots and lots of the hunters, given what they're driving. But um, I think they've all, they're all out on patrol, so that's okay. But let's run that orange light. I, I don't know how um, good AIs are at um, stopping for orange lights. Because I know in theory, if you see an orange light, you're supposed to stop if you can. Um, as I think somebody put it, I can't remember who it was, but somebody phrased, basically phrased it as if you see an orange light, you need to press one of the pedals. Uh, you either need to press the brake to stop it, stop it, when it before it goes red, or when it goes red, or you need to press the accelerator in order to get through it before it uh, while it's still before it goes red. So um, in that case, I, I, I chose the accelerator. I can hear a siren over there somewhere. That's a little bit worrying. I mean, the fact there's a siren going and I'm not being harassed basically means they're they're interested in someone else. Look, there's Mike dead ahead of me and Tristan there as well. I think I might be going to just drive straight through this checkpoint and not take it because there's so many of them around at the moment that I'm scared, basically. How many people are in that police car? Is this just, let's put all the hunters in one police car and see what happens? I'm getting out of here. There's suddenly, when there's three of them trying to box me in like that, I do not want to be in the in the area. So maybe I should have just taken the checkpoint anyway, because clearly we're now going to be having a chase whether I want to or not. And that's this is sort of what I was trying to avoid. I thought, let's let's um, try and just take the checkpoint in a reasonably quiet and innocuous way. Um, oh, there's one of them. Hi, also bite. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was trying to sneak up on the checkpoint, and then there were there's so many of them there, I thought, let's not take the checkpoint, because maybe that way I'll be able to get away without them seeing me. Uh, it was not to be. I don't know what else, what vehicle to change to, though, because there doesn't seem to be much else around that's any good. It's all these crappy Jeeps or um, Humvee limos. Can we have a slightly different spawn set, please? That'd be nice. Let's head back, loop back round, through here, and take the checkpoint. Because I'm not being chased. And as long as I stop before I take the checkpoint, then it's legit. Um, especially as I'm not being chased. I mean, in theory, I'm allowed to take a checkpoint even when I'm being chased. I just try not to, because it seems cheap, basically. <laughs> um, I don't like to do and I don't like, I don't like to do that. Right, I still need a change of car though. <clears throat> um, now let's see, let's see if there's a good sports car in, spawned in Red Car Park because that is often the case. They're still sirening. Nope, nothing in there, or nothing where the sports car usually spawns. Rather, was that a purple police car coming through the? What is that? Um, I thought I saw a purple police car. Yeah, oh, there's a green one there. That's just as bad. Yeah, this 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 spawn set is um, limited and challenging. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to do about it, apart from just you know, well, Grove Street. Okay, um, I know where that is at least. But with this car, this car is a bit recognisable and a bit a bit burned. I've smashed it up a bit. It's been very much very much been seen. I don't. I want to change car, but I want to change into a car into something that isn't terrible. And finding something that isn't terrible is going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, partly because there's nothing on the roads. Oh, goodness sake. I need a car. <laughs> Where are the roll? Oh, that, no, it's a limo again. The limos look reasonably nice, but they're still limos. And they're just going to be... I mean, they might be reasonably quick. I don't actually know. But they're going to handle, like... I don't know, something absolutely terrible. No, nope, nothing in here. I could try driving up the car park, I suppose. Haven't done that yet. This is probably going to be a, a mistake. Yeah, there's just there's nothing but jeeps and limos. What's going on? Oh, beach is a good idea, actually. Yeah, and it's it's fairly obvious place for me to be going. To, if if they if they see me heading down that way, yeah. If there's nothing in this car park, then I'll head over to beach. That's a good shout. Thank you, Peter. Um. Yeah, I don't know what gave me away. I suspect it might have been that it was the only good car they'd seen for quite a while. So they thought, he's not going to be in a bad car. That must, therefore, that must be him. 
Now, do I go off the jump? Probably not, because I'll get my car stuck. But let's do it anyway, because it'll be fun. I go over this way. Oh, that was not such a good landing. Are those knockdownable bollards? Yeah, they are. All right, let's take this Range Rover. It's, it's going to be terrible because it's a Range Rover, but I need a car. I need a different car that isn't quite so burned. Now I could go down to beach looking for car, looking for better cars. That's not a bad idea, and I am fairly close. Alternatively, I could go for the checkpoint because that's also fairly close. Let's go and look for a better car first. They don't know where I'm going, um, so if I head down towards beach, that might throw them off. Because so far they don't, they've no, they won't probably don't have any idea where the checkpoint is because I've. Um, Basically, I've, I've driven around like an lo absolute lunatic. I haven't been trying to approach a checkpoint. And they're probably going to be kind of aware of that. There's another um, another hearse. There's lots more miscellaneous 4x4s over there. There's a, there's a Humvee, the white one, I think. And another Jeep. And another Hummer, Hummer limo. It's, it's a bit ridiculous. Still, the sirens have stopped, so that's nice. Either the hunters are no longer suspicious, or they don't think they're chasing anything, or they've run out of ghosts to chase, or I, I don't know. But whatever reason, the hunters don't seem to be, don't consider themselves to be in hot pursuit at the moment. Or if they are, if they do consider themselves to be in hot pursuit, they're pursuing something that's out of earshot of me, and that's just as good. Someone's just left their siren on for the lulls, haven't they? They're not, they don't think they've spotted me or anything. They just they turned it on and they can't remember what button turns it off again. It's an interesting idea. Dump, yeah, grabbing. The, I've already I've already made, started making my way towards. Ooh. That'll do. It's peach green. I don't see that as a particular problem, but it it look. Take the car. Take the. Grr, and rage and other noises. Right, I'm just going to follow that because I. It looks good. It's, it's about the only good car I've seen for I don't know how long. I'm going to follow it and try and catch it and take it. Because Partly because I'm annoyed that it got away. And partly because it looks like a reasonably good car. This is probably going to be a... Uh, hubris and end in unfortunatenesses. Yep, I've just given... My, yeah, like that. I've just given myself away completely there to Tristan. Because that was some terrible, terrible driving. Because I was too fixated on the car I wanted to steal. I... I knew that was a bad idea when I started doing it, and I don't—I don't know why I did it. Why I didn't just go, okay, we'll carry on, we'll carry on with Plan A, where I head down towards the beach and look for another sports car. They're all just sports cars; it doesn't matter. Oh, we didn't crash into any of those. I crashed into Mike, but it doesn't kind of doesn't matter because I'm driving a Range Rover and he's driving a tiny little police car. So, yes, I think Inspector Morse has come to join the party, judging by that car I just saw. Okay, we might be going to be doing a ditch it in the sea thing here because I'm not sure how else I'm going to get away from a load of police cars in a, in, 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 in a Range Rover. Depends. Oh, actually, maybe Tristan screwed up that landing. I think he might have done. Oh, no, this isn't the one I thought it was. There are two exits from the low way that look very, very similar. One of them allows you to go um, straight onto the... Uh, straight through and onto down off-road briefly. One of them doesn't. That was the one that doesn't. Is he following me? I don't think he's followed me around there. Excellent. Actually, I shouldn't come off here. Ooh, if I come off here and duck into this alleyway. Now, oh, I don't know. I mean... I could take this Waitrose truck. They won't expect that. I mean, I will be completely doomed when, if and when we get into a chase, but... There's one of them. I think that's Pete and that's Mark. But there is always a Waitrose truck parked here, so, you know, it's got that subtlety going for it. Have they all gone? I think they have. Let's go for the checkpoint in this, because taking a checkpoint in a Waitrose truck would be funny. Now, a Waitrose truck is going to stand out slightly in the, in the, in the ghetto, admittedly. It's not 
quite where you'd expect to find one of these. Look, there goes, uh, I think that's Mike and Al going through over that way. Good. This is going well so far, but I definitely need to change this vehicle out very, very soon because it's <laughs> it's terrible. But I want to try and t I'm going to try and take the checkpoint in it. There are people panicking, but I don't think a car would panic at this sort of distance. Cars are a lot harder to panic than pedestrians, I've noticed. Yeah, now that's true. Now I could do the um, the take the checkpoint and dump it in the in dump it in the in the sea. Yeah, that might work. Uh, I there's a pink one going across there, and uh, nope, it's just a generic jeep. There's only green light. There we go. My timing is perfect. I started accelerating just 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 before the light turned green, <laughs> so it was kind of almost legal. Right, if we have to get down to Grove Street, then so I'm going to go another block across here, then turn left and head down towards Grove. Grove Street is normally a bad idea because it's a dead end if you go right into it. But as long as I sort of approach it reasonably carefully, then I should be... And, and turn soon after, I should be fine. And like I said, they're not going to expect me to be in a Waitrose truck, are they? Because it's just such an obvious bad idea. <laughs> and it'll, at least if we do get into a into a pushing match, it hopefully will do reasonably well. Now, GTA physics is a little bit sus. Um, and so you, you can I've, I've seen cars get pushed around by motorbikes in the past. Um, <clears throat> but you know, hopefully it'll be um, it'll work. Okay, we've got a green light. Oh, is that supposed to be a filter lane there? I don't know. I'm just going to sit behind this limo and wait to see what it does. Okay, I have to follow Mike up uh, Mark, which is unfortunate. No, no, don't don't do that. Don't get in the way. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> um, British instincts kicking in there. Okay, he's gone. That's a good thing. That's the second checkpoint taken. Mark will probably now come back at high speed. Oh, um, Mike has killed Pete and then been dispatched in uh, in, in retribution. Uh, it has become night, so that's good, I think. Except I'm in a massive white box van, so that's less less good for me. But still, that's a that's a, that's a checkpoint taken in a Waitrose van, so that's um. That's good. Good from my uh, my satisfaction and amusement. Right. Okay. Now. Um, yeah. Can you see that pink car didn't even look twice. Maybe. I'm not sure whether it's looking twice or whether it's just driving into stuff. Okay. Continue off this way then. Um, Harwick Avenue and Meteor Street. I I don't know where Alter is, but I guess we'll find out some point fairly soon. However, yes, as previously discussed, I think I need a new vehicle. That one in front of me looks interesting. It's probably not going to be a good one to take, but it looks interesting, so maybe I maybe I should anyway. Um, I might try the, the... The easiest way to steal another car is to pull up next to it and jump out of one and into the other. So there we go, it's stopped. So if I pull up here... Oh, no, lights have gone green. Can't do that. Okay, I'll carry on then, for now. There are so few cars around, and none of them, are, none of the ones I'm seeing are any good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm uh, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe I should now go back to Plan A and head over towards the beach and try and <clears throat> try and switch into something good over there. Or I could take a limo to complete, continue the uh, comedy vehicles thing. Let's let's at least upgrade to the limo. Hopefully it'll have tinted windows so nobody will be able to see what I look like. Oop, there's one of the police cars going through. Ha! I pulled off a vehicle change right next to that police car and he didn't spot me. That's quite satisfying. Alright, let's head over to the beach and see if we can find a car that isn't terrible. Uh, I mean, it nearly worked last time, except it got away and then I got spotted trying to chase it because I'm a Muppet. Uh, no, not into the... No, don't go to the petrol station. Carry on up here. Yes, this is good. Oh, that's a green light, so I can go this way. I think I might have got some attention then, and I'm not sure why. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just Pete was going this way anyway. 
Okay, we'll continue to follow Pete, which is probably unwise, but it's kind of what I'm committed to doing. And not following the traffic laws is probably more suspicious. There's so many limos around that hopefully me being in this one is going to be slightly subtle. And so far, so good. <laughs> Maybe it helps that between between runs, I was basically saying, yeah, I think I, I, I essentially need to use a sports car to have any chance of staying ahead of the police cars. And I'm now not very much not using sports cars. <clears throat> it seems to be working, though. So where is this checkpoint, anyway? Uh, that was not the button I meant to press. Ooh. Suddenly police cars everywhere. What is going on here? Oh, this is tense. I don't. This is tense, but be, basically because, well, I'm, I'm driving a terrible vehicle, and they, they haven't. They, they're not suspicious of me. They're just all over the place and a bit leery. But because I'm driving a bad vehicle, I'm just getting very, very paranoid about them all. And I don't really know where I'm going either, which is slightly unfortunate. What's, what's Al doing? Where's he going? Okay, he's investigating that. I don't even know what that is. But he scared it a bit. There's lots of cars around me shenaniganing. This is this is about this is good because this is distracting him. He's going off chasing them because they're breaking the traffic laws because they got scared because they got intercepted by uh, various police cars in unfortunate ways. What is that hearse doing? Let's try and follow that jeep because I'm in this lane and this is the direction I want to go. Oh, this is tense. The, the hunters will definitely be kicking themselves. <laughs> this has been um, a ridiculous one. Um, there's Al's police car over there. I can see the blue door on it. Um, there is shooting happening. People are getting scared. Let's let's continue. Join in with the getting scared and run up this way. Because I don't want to drive past him just in case it was me he was shooting at. It doesn't seem likely, but... You never know. Okay, I might have given myself away a little bit there, but there's a lot. Yeah, I have. I'm now. Well, at least I'm now being chased. But there was a lot of panicking going on, so I felt like I had to sort of. I wanted to join in with the panicking, but I think I joined in a bit too enthusiastically, and things didn't go well for me. Now, how does the um, straight line speed? Let's do the first test. Straight line speed. How does the limo and the police car compare? Comparable. The police car is a little bit faster. Mike is, is definitely catching up with me. Cornering abilities. Oh, problematic. Um, no, not that button. <laughs> that button. There we go. Ability. Turn to circle off. Right, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Now, this is the point where I'd be going, oh, I should have gone for the ditch in the sea approach. That would have been much more sensible. But I've got the circle off now, which means I can do that and then, sw and then swim over to the beach without them getting... Well, I don't know, because usually when I try and swim over... When, when, I, when I do do the ditch it in the, in the ocean trick, I do tend to end up going over towards the... Um... Oh, come on, get some grip. Oh, I didn't... Couldn't, I had no grip in the, in the, in the rain. I just couldn't get moving. <sighs> oh... Surely it's on foot is a smaller circle. No, bigger. You're a nice cow. The faster he goes, the smaller it gets. If that helps. Yeah, so on foot. The car around you, Mike. Wait, hang on. The other way around. The faster he goes, the smaller it gets. Found him! If you stand still, it gets smaller as well. West side of the shop is heading south. Yep. Yep. So they're going up. Right, heading west. Uh, south side of. Grey. Aston Martin? Uh, no, I think it's Banshee. Heading towards five ways. But it is great. 
genuinely right, did a yeah. really good job of convincing me yeah, he was an AI he's... until Tristan rammed him and he didn't die. Sorry. Sorry. Where uh, are Tristan's we? outside the shopping centre. Oh, he turned around. He's way he faster. Yeah. North east side of shopping centre. He's way, way faster than these police cars. <laughs> that might be a problem. We'll have to head yeah. him off at the pass. So we have to set up. I'm assuming east from... No, I've got oh, to... north. No, he's gone north. North. Oh, he's north. gone that west. way. I should have kept going. I should have trusted myself. Whoa! Ah. <laughs> Who was that? Learn <laughs> to drive, Al. Over. What are you talking about? <laughs> Mark dropped a lamppost on me. I blame Mark. He's somewhere it's over south. Yeah, he it's south. It's right south. Uh, here. Wherever that is. Um, it's definitely right. Like, check one taken. Everyone taken what? Uh, that was by... Yeah, that's... By that's yeah, yep. I shot him to jump. Yep. Just west of that. So he did a fancy jump somewhere. And I assume heading south from there. He can't have changed way. cars that fast. He exactly. didn't go through dog leg. Whoa. These cars are rubbish, by the way. Case is go right. uh, into red car park. Really? Uh, red car park? Through red car park. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, Pete, we actually Through red car park. Uh, <laughs> doesn't take the jump. He's heading uh, east from there. Towards construction, south from there. Approaching ghetto, yeah, uh, under the bridge, into ghetto, towards arena, basically. Uh, not towards arena, heading left from there, along rail tracks. So you're heading oh, east. rail track time. <laughs> we know how this goes. Uh, and <laughs> left here, I think Lampos! that's the ring of fire, <laughs> donut thing, heading north. Hey. Last class. He's what have you done, Tristan? <laughs> He's very fast. Square, square, basically. I lost eyes. Circle's <laughs> big. He's gone to ground. Yep. Yeah, he's switching cars somewhere. Cars. Yeah. Maybe in red what? car. I was going to say, what do you reckon the odds are? I'm going up. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to just sneakily wait out south side so that he's, if he comes out south side, then it's obvious. I'm blocking uh, north side slope. I'm blocking south side slope. As well. Uh, Mark clears it. Plus one? Yeah. No, no, it's a good <laughs> car. <laughs> also that. I like my doors. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a bad bus driver. No, it was <laughs> AI. Well, I'm taking the canal route. It's going to be hard to find Lawrence when AI bus uh, driver. Burger shop, there's a pink green a car. Uh, Jeep. Oh, four by four. Uh, turned right, to out of canals, multicolored car park, Ooh. heading east. <laughs> yeah. It's just south of the highway. Yep. Circle of concourse. Heading east. Uh, heading east. That's the one. Found him. Dropped a traffic light on me. Ah, sorry. North side of red car park, still heading east. Ah. Going into red car park. <laughs> Indirect again. <gasps> well, it's red car park. Then. Straight That's across. And going for the jump. Keeping right. Uh, uh, heading south. Uh, <laughs> coming off in the middle. I barely see him in the distance. Is it his usual off road route? No. Uh, coming off the exit. Oh, okay. But I'm not sure where he went for that. I'm guessing oh. further south, He's but I way. didn't see him. Uh, I got it, thanks. Okay. No, you don't. Ow! Hey! No! By it, do you mean <laughs> Mike and in your process? No scream! What a. Oh, what well, happened? Checkpoint on the street.
these crews were emergency. <laughs> the only car that's not been a Hirsch or an SUV has had wheels like four times the size of the car itself. Why are we all just here? <laughs> I've got a limo, <laughs> that's hey! failing to stop, limo failing to stop Chinese monument. Running red light. Actually police, Mike. I think I found him in a limo. Heading up towards Colford Car Park. We're near the edge of the circle, so I'll tell you in a second if it's definitely him. Well, I've just seen an orange police car go by. Yep, it's so him. Hit the edge of the circle, it moved, and again, yeah, I've got him heading north from Colourful Car Park. Um, still heading north. He's in a limo. He's trying to do a like a dainty turn, but it's not ended well for him. <laughs> heading east. He's in a limo. On by by his pump and run gymnasium. What's um, passing? Boulevard Del Perro. Life Invader. Heading east. Circle is disabled. That was a really weird thing to see, a pit manoeuvre on a stretch of the boat. Yeah, that one just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one I was trying to pit and then you ran me out of the way. Yeah, I'm part of it, yeah. Mine, mine, mine. Ah, uh, heading go? south towards five ways. Five ways. Um, approaching five ways. Oh, nearly got another. That's where the party is. <clears throat> Getting yeah. out. At five ways, near five ways. Nice. Yay. Hold yeah. on. Noise. Okay, now. That was funny. You missed me so many times. <laughs> were you in the limo? How many times were you in the limo? I came into the limo a little while after I took the um, the last checkpoint that I took, uh, which I took in a Waitrose truck. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it, I, I, I mostly I, I would have been driving more oh, sports sorry. cars, but I just couldn't find there any. There aren't any, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I don't approve of this current spawn set. That everything is dreadful. By sports car, I assume you mean limo.